the best practices analyzer can tell us when we have some sort of a misconfiguration or security issue on our Windows server. I'm in Server Manager, and you can click on Local Server. And when you click on Local Server, you see it's selected the server that I'm on, which is great. Now I'm going to scroll down and look for the BPA, the Best Practices Analyzer, and here it is. Now I haven't run it yet, so let's go ahead and go to Tasks and choose the Start BPA Scan. Sometimes the BPA scan takes a few minutes to run. It just depends on the speed and the availability of whatever resources you have on your server. Once you find the various different best practices analyzer results, you can go in and resolve those, run it again, and see that the best practices analyzer has fixed those problems. You may also see some flashing command prompt screens. That's okay. That's also to be expected as it runs the analyzer. You're pretty much guaranteed, especially on a brand new installation of a server, you're going to have a lot of different results as you see here. And that's okay. Some of these things are things that you may not want to make changes to because it will make it difficult for your staff, say, to connect to this server. Other things are absolutely things that you do want to change. Let's take a look at the first one. The DNS server should have scavenging enabled. And here it gives me information about that scavenging service. So I can scroll down and you can see how we can turn that on. So I'm going to go to the DNS server and I'm going to right click onto my server and you can see the option to set aging scavenging for all zones. So I'm going to check that to be enabled and I'll click OK. And I'll click OK again and now that's done. Now, if I were to run the best practices analyzer again, you would see this particular warning go away because it's no longer an issue. So that's how you fix problems that the best practices analyzer finds. Now, you'll also notice that you may see some warnings, but you might see some errors as well. Here you can see an error that the PDC emulator master in this force should be configured to correctly synchronize time from a valid source. Well, that's easy enough. I can go in and set the time server so that way I don't have that issue anymore. So you're going to see various different warnings and errors, and you can select by severity. So that way you can see which ones may be the most uh, important at the top so I can go ahead and take care of those and then I can go through all the various different warnings and decide whether or not those are ones that I need to handle. The best practices analyzer is a guideline. It's not a mandatory type of responding service. So you can decide which types of best practices are important for you on your server.